Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. What a blessed what afternoon it is. We thank God. We thank God for blessing us with another day. If you have, just go ahead and thank him right now. Thank him, thank him, thank him, because he's worthy of it all. Worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Last time I think about the goodness of Jesus. Mm, my God, my God, my God. Mm, mm, mm. I am truly blessed. So many times I sit back and think about where I was over 17 years ago before I got saved and delivered from drugs and alcohol. You know, I think about that mess I was in and I just want, oh my God, then, right, then my heart just goes out to so many more who's still out there in that mess. So many more who had, um, who had, he, he set themselves free of it, but they, but they keep backsliding, backsliding, and backsliding. And I truly don't understand why they keep backsliding, you know, because they're not giving it to God. They're, they're not praying to him, asking him to please, please, please help them, continue to help them, you know, to get delivered from this stuff, whatever it is, you know, whatever their addiction is. You need to constantly, constantly pray on it, pray on it, and pray on it. And instead of worrying about yourself all the time, start thinking about others, you know, and ask God to help them in whatever way he can, you know. Because I think about where I was at, y'all. Oh, my God, my God, my God. How in the world, how in the world could I have been in that mess for all those years? For all those years drinking and drugging and fornicating. Now, let's not leave that out, you know. And I just kept, I was, oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. I just can't believe it. Because I remember a time I didn't think I would live to see 30 years old. I actually thought about that to myself when I was like, I guess, in my 20s, you know. Just the idea, when I think about it, I couldn't be nobody but him. Who has brought me through this but him? He answered prayers. Prayers I didn't even know people was praying for me. Like my mama was praying for me. I didn't know she was praying for me like that. I know my daughter was praying for me. She might have made them upset with me, but she was praying for me. She was praying for me. And my other family members, like my sister. I know my baby sister was praying for me as well, you know? And the other family members and stuff. But you just don't know. You just don't know. Well, anyway, I'm so glad God heard them and he answered and there were times I was praying for myself. I didn't have this great relationship with God, anything, but I knew of him. And I would say, please help me, help me, help me, Lord. Help me when I really got tired. Help me out of this. Please, because I cannot do it on my own. Because I have realized I couldn't do it on my own. At all. I said, help me or you let me die. Help me or let me die. I had got to that point, and I met it. I met every word of it. I did not want to live to go through what I was going through, you know? Seemed like I was always alone. Um, just just said, um, with my, with my family, wasn't even trying to make connection with my family had got to that point. You know, I said, oh, my Lord, I just felt lost. I had felt lost. I really, really did. And when it got to the end, I had felt lost. You know, I wasn't even keeping food and things in my refrigerator. When I looked one time, my freezer was bare. I said, where's my where's food? What did I do with them? Smoke the money up? That's what it was. You know, rather, rather had to have that crack cocaine. Rather, the crack cocaine had me. It had me. That's what it was. I'm not ashamed to say it. It had me. And the alcohol. 
So right now, no, I will never, never, ever put a drink to my mouth. Just the other day on TV, a commercial was on. It was showing somebody pouring, pouring a, a bottle of in a glass, it got ice cold. All of a sudden, something made me say, mm, oh, look, I could really drink that cold glass of beer. I said, now, where in the world that come from? I don't see that commercial and many commercials before I had that thought in my head. Nobody but old Satan, but the devil's a liar. He's a liar. I went in that refrigerator and got myself a cold bottle of water. I might was thirsty at that time, but I wasn't thirsty for that beer. I can tell you that, because I ain't no fool. I know what that beer will lead me to. I know. It'll probably be worse than what I was. Oh, no, I could never, ever go through that again. So that's why my heart goes out to those people who's still out there or who just getting caught up in that mess. My heart goes out to y'all. Anybody on here that's in that mess, my heart goes out to y'all. And I really pray. I pray for y'all. I don't have to know who you are, but I pray. I actually pray for those who's into that mess. No, because don't nobody want to be like that, y'all. Don't know but nobody gonna gonna wake up one day and say I wanna be I wanna be a crack addict. I wanna be a drug addict. I wanna be a, a alcoholic. Don't nobody wakes up and, and say that's what they wanna be. But it happens. It happens. So y'all please keep people in prayer. Keep them in prayer. You know? Cause I think about this stuff. That's why I got to keep them in prayer. I will not put nobody else down because they're doing what they're doing. You know, I try and keep them in prayer. So, Lord, just help them, please. Just help them. It's rough. It's rough. Wasn't for the Lord, no way I would be here right now. I'm going to tell you, if it was not for my Lord Jesus Christ, I would not be here. And for my family. Through it all, through it all, this stuff by me, through it all. Because I know what I did with my daughter. My daughter still stuck by me. And I just love her. I love her to pieces. I love her. I love both my children, my grandchildren, and all of my family for sticking by with me, putting up with me. My God. So when y'all see people out there like that, don't snub your nose up at them. Speak to them. Now, how you doing? How's your day? Whether they speak back to you or not. And you pray for them. You pray for them in your heart. You pray for them. Because they need the prayer. They need love. They need prayer. They need love. Just help them. Because they may not have the strength to do it on their own. And it's a lot of my hair who wants to get off, wants to, wants to um, get clean and sober. Because I was one of them. But well, people see me and they didn't think I wanted, but I wanted to. And, I, and glory be to God, he helped me. He helped me. Oh, I don't know where it comes. Well, God must have meant for me to say it. Because there was nothing on my mind but coming on here talking about that. But anyway... Please, please keep others in prayer. Please do. Anybody you know who's who's addicted or anything, inbox me about it. And I will pray for them. I will pray for them. Because we, we have our family prayer line tonight, me, Christine, and some of my family members. We can lift their names up in prayer tonight. Please send it to my inbox. Send it to my inbox. Who, who you want a uh, prayer for, it can be you. It doesn't make no difference. You don't even have to tell me the circumstances. Just just say you want prayer for, and just put the name down. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for delivering me. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, Jesus. And, Lord, I'm going to thank you in advance for the rest of them, to, for deliverance. Salvation and deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All glory. Hallelujah. All glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. So y'all have a blessed rest of your day and know that I love you. But most of all, Jesus loves you.